Right, good morning fisher people. I'm Alan Norris from Fish on TV. It is Tuesday the 17th of October and I've just arrived at Millionaire Mix <coughs> Woodhouse Grange for a match with the old boys. I managed to get a Tuesday off so here I am with the boys. We are due to fish the Kennel Pond. It's like split into two sections is, is the kennel pond, there's a bridge and what have you, so it's, it's all one pond but feels like you're fishing two separate ones. One's quite a lot deeper than the other. Right, what I will say is temperatures are plummeting. Really cold yesterday morning, didn't get above 10 yesterday, it was like 2 and 3 degrees and the same this morning, 3 degrees when I left this morning. Cold hands and things like that, cold feet. It's going to be a clear day, sunny day today. I'm not sure about There's no wind at the minute. It's predominantly F1s in there. So, I might get some four mil pellets for me today. Um, we'll see where we get drawn. I'm not sure where I want to be, to be honest with you. I don't know where winning weights have been coming from. I do know the one on the bridge can be quite a good peg. It doesn't always win, but it... <clears throat> When I fish with the old boys, whoever sat on that usually frames at least or wins. So it can be really good. Um, I've read some write-ups. I forgot what peg it is. Is it, is it 16? I can't remember now which one it is. But anyway, that's usually a, a reasonable area. But it's only about that deep. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. It's probably the coldest it's been all year, these last two days. Will the fish be wanting to munch? Or will they be wanting to uh, louse us off? You just don't know. <laughs> we could be surprised. So I'm going to go dip my nets. Um, we'll get to draw and we'll see uh, see where we get drawn. We'll see how we get on today. I think it's mainly going to be pole for me. I will set a method up because sometimes when they're not quite having it properly on float, I've chucked a method in and it just smashes around all the time. Well, that happens, I just don't know, but it does sometimes, so. Right, looking forward to it, looking forward to seeing the boys again. <clears throat> Let's see how we get on. Oh no, where we get drawn first. Thank you. 
I've just drawn peg 31. Bombs out sat on one side to try and avoid scales. <laughs> there were one left in. Where is his right till end and drew it? <laughs> he thinks it's fixed every time I turn up. <laughs> anyway, I've drawn peg 31. Uh, never fished that side at lake before, so let's get down there. Let's check it out. I'm still going to fish maggot, farmhill pellet, and a, and a feed, and maybe to Ireland. So let's get down, check it out, and uh, see where about I'm going to fish. See you on the bank. Right, here we are, peg 31. I'm ready now. Always late. 10 minutes late. Um, a little bit emmed in, to say the least, but here we go. I'll show you where we are. Peg 31, peg 32. In fact, if I get my pole out, I think I'll be able to touch Nige. Peg 33, you've got John Danby, Nice Middleton, Jazz. So we're all very, very close to each other. Not really got an island chuck because of these. No chance of an island chuck, so my plan. Top two and one down here. Top two and three a bit further out. It's all, it's very, it's exactly the same depth virtually, but there's like half an inch in it. I'm gonna fish pellets out there. Pellets, four mil pellets here. 
maggots in the margin there that's a lovely margin that looks ideal but it's all rooty and snaggy so I've actually I'm just going to have it as a little throwaway line just, just down here they will come in the meth ones so just maggots down here I've got a method set up just in case I want to flick it but I'm, I think I'm probably going to fish pole all day again I've got another peg just here so you can imagine he'd want to cast there I'd want to cast there, he'd want to cast there, he'd want to cast there, they're all wanting to cast there, but everybody's decided on pole and we've left Chaz to Ireland. And it, you can see it's, it's a full lake all the way around. Got Mr. Incredible over there. Tony. Uh, is that my old mate Jeff? That's, I'm not sure, I can't tell who it is that. But he's over there somewhere. But there we go. Oh, and that's the other part of the lake back here. There's I've only got five on there, so they've got plenty of room. Right, let's see how we get on. Uh, Nigel's just into one look. Well done, Nigel. F1. A little bit of carp, nice one. Ooh, nice little bit of carp. So, right, I'll get fishing. They're, they're catching, there are a couple of fish in front, but let's see what we can do. One. Two, three, testing, 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 testing. Right. Got a, quite a few fish. Um, but only, only got about 16 pounds. I've been feeding the left hand margin of maggots. Um, I've been going short then long. I've been getting one or two fish but not loads. I've just put two up to about 16 pounds. There's fish being caught everywhere. Um, I keep, I've been, like I said, I've been feeding this for an hour or so. And I thought I'd have a margin of two puttings and two fish. Not the stamper fish that I want but I'm getting one or two. Well two. <laughs> two puttings, two fish. Can't complain. Let's just see if it'll go again. It takes a lovely margin is that how long it'll last this I don't know. I keep alternating short pellets, long pellets and I'll Keep alternating it with this. It's a lovely little margin that we've got. And it just shows, doesn't it? Put camera on. <laughs> it's not going. It was going under within like five seconds. just come down here and I've only got like a four by ten float on and it's uh, it's not settling properly it's all right but it, it's it's quite thick as this scum <laughs> oh I can't believe that folks putting two putting bang straight away no messing Leave it. I thought I'll put the camera on while we're having a few here. So I can put the camera on and just show you how quick these bites are. <laughs> there we go. And we'll just refeed that. Wind started getting up. I'm having to try and judge my maggots so they don't end up in grass 
because it just keeps blowing. This feels like a slightly better fish. one as well. I thought he would have come up then. He's darting about everywhere, isn't he? There you go. So I'm just putting double maggot on at the minute, live maggots as well. I fed deads to start with. And remember folks, if you fish here, you've got to put your fish in like this. And it is a pain with these bloody branches hanging down everywhere. So there we go. Let's go straight back in. And just see if there's anything waiting for us after that lot of maggots I've put in. These fish come in a lot easier with a lighter elastic. This is slightly heavier with the margin. And they're trying quite a bit more. Lighter elastic, it's as if they don't know they're hooked. Those of you that have not fished here before, I'm using 4B12s on my pellets out there. 013 bottomed KKMB banded, banded pellet. And in the margin here, I've got a 4B10s float, 3 inch up length, and a B911F1. I'm just using red maggots. Brought four pints of red maggots. I know they've been using a lot more, but it is a bit colder. I'll put a few more in there. But yeah, this margin plumbed up absolutely lovely. Ah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention there is a lot of good gin in here, folks. That was a good gin. Pellets there. Right. We'll keep going. See if we can get a few more. We'll get updates as we go along. It's crackers, folks. Flicked a little method over the on the long pole line. Not not had a sign on poles. Not little indication as if there were tiddlers or something. <laughs> Chuck method out, just put it on rest it was straight round. It's just crackers in it, this fishing lark. Why that up? Why weren't they taking hotels? <laughs> and a nice fish as well. Got this F1 a couple of pounds or so. The bloody trees are all getting done. My socks in. So 21 pound. We're just ticking over. Refed that margin down there. I'm hoping that that is going to be, it's going to come to life a little bit later on. Meath hopes. There we go. 
Let's just see if it does it again. Probably won't now, camera's on. I've literally just done that, went to dry my hands on something, where is it, on the towel, and it was straight round. It was madness. I can't believe that. Straight round. But it, I've noticed around the lake it's slowed up. People aren't catching like they were earlier. And I really hope that that margin kicks in for a few fishies. I've been feeding. Well, oh, that wind's strong now. I'd better keep feeding my lines. And a few pellets over, not too many, not going crackers. It's that time of year now uh you've got a little watchy feed. Apparently hundred pound on here don't get you anywhere near in frame, but I think hundred pound today is gonna to be a good way. I definitely think that cold weather's uh put them off this. Sean's getting one or two and feed it to Ireland. But like his marriage, chucks his feeder out. He says it's to his right, but it's actually to my left. <laughs> so I'm not, not even going to go out there, I'm just plunking it just short there. Let's see if we get one or two. But that's madness that he goes around straight away, first go. And, and now nothing. That's what I've got to put my timer on. But I've noticed on every line that I've caught fish, it's catch one or two. And like I had four or five down there, then not a bite. So I'm going to keep swapping lines to try and get bites. It's definitely going into that winter mode. One or two baby caps coming out, out as well. So there we go. Little, little update, 21 pound. What we got left? Got plenty of time, yeah. Yeah, we've got. Uh, what is it? Uh, we, we're two and a half hours in, so things can still happen, folks. Right, here we go. Well, I keep pinching the odd fish from different lines, but they're just not. Uh, they're not feeding as they normally do. That is for sure. And other people are doing the same. Keep switching lines. I had a couple out of the margin down there again, and then nothing. Oh, just give up, and it's a nice fish, isn't it? Gone back out long. Stop wriggling, stop wriggling. Gone back out long. I've had a couple of small ones, a good gin. Keep changing from maggot to pellet. That was on pellet. I've just started introducing a little bit of ground bait, but not a lot, just a little bit. Just to try and create a bit of interest in the swim. And uh, that's just put me over 30 pounds, about 31. I heard Ringer had, Night said he got about 25. Ringer said he, he's put another net in, he got over 30 pounds. So we're not a mile off the pace, folks. We're not a mile off. I don't think. I can't see everybody. But there's 24 of us on here today. So we're a little bit emmed in. So limited. Like, Nigel just chucked his feeder out. And he chucked it halfway and it was back in front of me left. <laughs> so it's just a right tiny little ball of ground, but hardly anything. Just to create a little cloud or something. Half a dozen pellets. I'll just keep feeding that down there. Keep feeding my short line here. I've not had much on this short line for a while. Let's see if we can get one while you're up. Everybody's changing lines because it, it's just, it's just not happening. Mick 
Back in, uh, in the office did say it's, uh, it's dropped off. It's not quite as good as it's been. I'll see if I can get another bite. But can't guarantee it because they've not been, not been getting bites galore at all. No sh signs of them being shallow or anything like that. There we go, that's gone. So there, yeah, just, just added that little bit of ground bait and it, I am just starting to get a few more indications. And as you can see, I don't know what it is with this light, lighter elastic, but it just seems to come in easier. There's a heavy and elastic, they really don't half give it some. It's as if they don't know they're hooked. Back onto the pole just in front. Back onto me. I've not had a bite on it for ages. Stay still. Does it come out? It has, I. Um, uh, I've not had a ground bait short, so I had a little bit of ground bait this time. Short. to get one or two more in that margin but they're not a, they're not as big a stamp as oh this is not bad like the biggest one I've had out of there today and they're all medica that are in, in the edge apparently my old mate Jeff he's got four nets and he's been catching really bagging up on pegs Seven on the other side. Really bagging up as lad. They'll be fishing in his margin and just in front. Pretty much what I'm doing. And I know that because that's how he fishes. It paid off for him today and I'm guessing he's either using pellet or maggot the same as me. Nigel's had one or two to me right. Nigel Middleton and John Danby they've been catching okay as well. It's not been prolific. I'm up to about 50 pound ish, something like that. It's not going to be enough if Jeff's got four nets in. Well, I'm getting one or two more out of the margins. I had a slightly bigger one, about four, four pound ish. Well, this is putting more of a scrap up than I thought. Look. We've got about 20 minutes to go. Don't know how I've done in this section because there's been fish caught everywhere. That's a fish. From the margins, F1s. Let me just put a few maggots down there. So we've got about 20 minutes to go. Whether my click is right or not, I don't know. I've got about 58 pound, I think. But 
I could be wrong because if you get over 50 pound your neck goes back. Look if I'll be getting some maggot and we'll find. So I'll carry on down in this margin and we'll see you folks at the wheel. difficult really um, but there's been plenty of fish caught I mean I've had plenty of fish don't get me wrong but you're wanting to try and win the match aren't you, you know so um, gets to my peg and we're all in a line what number I forgot what peg number I was now 31 so it's 31 32 33 34 35 36 all in a line and what was John my oh and thir sorry 30 so I had nowhere to go I couldn't have chucked to the island anyway because of the trees. They need chopping down. I've decided on short, top two and one basically. It was the same depth there as it is at top two and three. Nice chuck to feed her out at about, it wasn't even halfway, but it was still to my left. There was no point trying to go any further out because Nigel was trying to fire bait out and it was landing in my peg. Just to give you an idea how close we are, when the floats were in, I mean, wind were blowing right to left, when the floats were in, there were about two and a half metres between us. Not ideal. But you can only do your best. So, I've basically been tapping pellets in and catapulting one or two, just to make a bit of noise on on the long line. Tapping pellets in, throwing, throwing in by hand, just to make a little bit of noise. And then to my left, I've been feeding maggots and a bit of ground bait um i had a fish first chuck and i've been catching f1s small f1s small carp from the margin and when i couldn't I had, I had a period where i just couldn't get a bite from any of the lines for about an hour so i've just flicked a little feeder out and i've had two or three fish and then that's just completely died so i've then started adding little balls of ground bait and I've started picking the odd fish up, so it'd be sort of catch one, maybe two if I'm lucky, and then I had to move. It just couldn't get another bite after that. And that's been the majority of my match, a couple on one line, a couple on another, and just rotating. The margins, once I'd had a couple, well, I had four on the trot when I first went in the margin after about an hour or so. And I thought, that's it, that's it for a day for me. I couldn't get another bite. <laughs> So, and I fed quite heavy down there, so I've cut the feed out and tried it, had one or two, then nothing. So I've upped the feed again, thinking it might need a lot more bait. Put quite a lot of maggots down there, tried it after about 10 minutes, catch one or two, 
and then it'll go dead again. It didn't matter how I fed it, whether I fed it heavy, whether I fed it sparingly, the fish wouldn't stay on any of the lines. I must, I've got to say the, the short and long pole line I've not fed heavily. I've tapped pellets in. You could just tell they weren't really having it big time today, just looking around the lake. But there's been lots of little fish caught. Um, I don't know how many F1s and carp I've had, but I've had plenty. And I've ended up weighing 60 pounds 10, which unfortunately for me was second in section. And I think it was eighth overall out of 24. Um, where's that picture gone? Oh, that's disappeared. Just two secs. I've got... Well, I did have the photo. Just two secs. Library. Oh, I've marked it off as well. I don't know where they've gone. But anyway. Right, on the other side, with the wind behind, it's been like a mill pond there. And there's one or two people. I had one or two fish over the other side. Like 99 and a half pounds. And then on the, there was only five on the annex, which is the other side. So we've got 19 on the main lake, and then they've only got five next door. And there's been some nice weights come off there as well. So £66 won my section. I've had £60. So Nigel Middleton won our section. Well done, Nigel Middleton. I said that he was catching quite a few. He was about two or three down to my right. So he's done pretty well from there. So well done, Nige. What a mighty fisherman you are. Well done, son. I won't bother with the other sections. But in f in uh, where are we? In third place, got Simon Hudson. I think he was on the annex. Yeah, he was the first one on the annex. Peg seventeen, cracking peg. You take that any day at week because you take that as often as you take peg sixteen. He's had uh, eighty nine pound nine ounces, and then. In the second place, on peg 21, again on the annex, you take that peg all day long, that's a nice peg. £88.11, well fished Frank Johnson. What a mighty fisherman you are, well done son. Um, and then on peg 16, Dave Eccles is at £84.7, so that's your fourth place. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? We've got 88, uh, 84 in fourth. 88 in in uh, in third but with frank 89 simon hudson for second place so well done you three what a set of mighty fishermen you are but this week's old boys mightiest fisherman catching on corn i thought it would be pellet or maggot but i've asked him he says no he's caught on corn i know he's caught in the edge and he won't have fished any more than top two and one um he's my old mate Jeff Vaws. Well done, son. It's his first win for a while. He's been in a bit of form. He's had a couple of seconds in, in other clubs, a couple of thirds, and he's managed to win today. So, absolutely over the moon for you, Jeff. What a mighty fisherman you are. Just shy of the £100 mark, but a nice little confidence booster for my old mate, Jeff. So, if you just want to look at other weights, we've got like 35, 23, 66, 57, 46, 61, which is me. 45, 40, 40, 88, 89, 84, 40, 62, 67, 20, 46, 33, 37, and that's your lot. So there you go. Um, plenty of uh, bites, but for kennel, that's not plenty of bites, I suppose. It, it, it's two and three times that amount normally, but the weather's changing. It is getting a bit more difficult. But everybody's caught, everybody's thoroughly enjoyed it, apart from the wind that got up a little bit. And a lovely nice bright day good crap with the lads as usual nice to see all the old boys again um i'd love to make more of them but uh, i think they i think they're about finishing for over the winter period for a couple of months so i'm going to join the uh bomb and feeder league at lindome lakes so i'll be hopefully fishing some of those over the winter on tuesday Plus the golden rods, the feeder master winter pairs on the weekend and stuff like that. So lots to go out this winter. Really looking forward to it. Can't wait. Thoroughly enjoyed today. And I hope you've enjoyed this little video at Woodhouse Grange on the Kennel Pond. And if anybody asks, it's the one at the back of the cafe. Cracking pond, if you want plenty of bites, that pond is the one to go to. 
Right, there we go, folks. Don't forget, it is absolutely free to subs subscribe to this channel. If you click the notification bell, you will get all our videos as we upload them. And a nice thumbs up would be very, very nice. So, what's next for me? It is my last chance saloon at Barston Lakes for the Shimano Ledger Cup qualifier. So I'll see you folks down there on the bank at Barston Lakes and hopefully we should be getting qualified for the final at Lindo. Right, that's me done. I'm going for some tea. when well, actually, I'm going for a quick pint and my tea and I'll see you at Barston. Over and out. Oh, and don't forget, fish on. See you pretty soon.